do you look for in a spouse? Respect. That is, I can trust. You know, if I have a really crappy attitude, then you know. humans. Someone that is loving, caring, has kind of a temper, but is very honest. Someone and that's honest and respectful. Trust me uh, at the middle when making decisions. For humor, I would look for loyalty. As long as he's honest, he tries his hardest. Loyalty and intelligence are pretty good. The main two. I find my like a best friend that's just like me, and yeah, someone whose personality stands out, and someone who knows how to like be in a relationship. Someone who sees me as me and not the person in a wheelchair. Do you look for any physical traits? I think you're worth it because I'm like, yeah, she's perceived to others. Her style, I'm assuming, hopefully, she's fit. Dark hair, dark skin, dark eyes. Yeah, I do. Someone that's taller than me. I mean, I don't think so. Um, for some reason, like, they do have to be like at least my height. Like, uh, easy on the eyes, I guess. <laughs> Straight teeth. Straight teeth. Uh, uh, good skin and good hair. What would you fight about? Where our money is spent. Yeah, like how you would raise your kids. What, how we were going to hold the wedding. You might fight about what love means. Uh, that I'm too goofy. <laughs> and I, uh, I don't take things seriously sometimes. Fight about little things. I don't think it would be about anything too serious because as long as he trusts me, you know, he shouldn't have to worry about uh, anyone else coming into the picture. Uh, but you want to also have my attention because if it's mutual, then I'm going to give him the attention that he gives me. What if a baby came into the picture and one of you had to stay home? Uh, I know I come from a very traditional family, um, very old fashioned, so uh, they don't think that so I can stay at home and die because I'm at work. That's how I'm very important. Um, I, I feel like that's a question you talked about before having kids, and just making sure like who wants to stay home, who's willing to stay home, and if no one's willing to stay home, what do you, where, what other sorts of things? Yeah, like, like, the kids come first, so if it did come down to that, then I would probably stay. But I think it wouldn't be fair for one of us to stay over the other. I think it would have to do with, like, finding either scheduling, um, or somebody else to take care of them, but I wouldn't expect her to stay at home, or I would expect her to tell me. I would, I would like to think no. Um, but I feel like getting out, I feel like that is grounds for uh, a lot of fights because the person staying at home tends to be isolated. They're both parents, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't think that it should just be the mother that says it. They're both parents going after something and well he's a dad you know that's that's his kid i mean my mother had me when she was 18 so and she's fine so i don't think it's something i'm really fine about it's just having a child and it actually brings parents closer i don't think i would fight about it i don't think me and my sponsor would have any problems with that no. whatever we have to do for the kid to get I feel like I feel like we would both try to manage, but if someone would have to stay home, it would probably be me because you know you're the I'm gonna I would be the mother of the child, so I would be the one of the country. Remember, communication goes a long way. And now that you share your life with someone, it's not just your life anymore, it's theirs too. Always consider their thoughts and opinions, because they have a mind of their own, a voice of their own, a life of their own, and most importantly, a goal of their own that they want to achieve.